Baruch 4 and 28, it says, For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. So seek the Lord even more now. All right, in being returned to him. You know? Because again, as, as for it was for a monster to go straight from the Heavenly Father uh, in the book of Jeremiah 17 and 4, man. And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from uh, thine heritage that I gave thee, man. All right? That was supposed to happen. So the Lord could teach us a lesson. Okay? So like it, bear with me for a moment. That was the point or not again man when you when you come back into the real wisdom knowledge and understanding of the bible man you're supposed to be seeking the lord more now than ever before because you didn't know him before okay so when you hear the names yahweh why yahweh shy it's supposed to resonate with your spirit man all right that's the gospel man that's that's the real gospel that's the real good news that's the good news man because that's what gospel means good news and the good news is, salvation is of the Jews. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans. Our time is coming, man. All right, we got next. You know, the Lord is going to throw America down. Eh? The Lord is going to set us up. That America was built off of through rape, robbery, and murder. All right, we got next, man. All right, and we're going to have the kingdom forever, man. The kingdom of heaven will be established on earth. Whether you people want to believe it or not. You know? That was the point on that. Um, let me get this in the book of Luke. This is the book of Luke, chapter 15, and I'm going to start at verse 11. All right, this is Yahweh Shah, all right, talking to, the, uh, to the, talking to the disciples, all right? The parable of the prodigal son, the lost son, you know? So this is Luke, chapter 15, verse 11. It says, and he said, a certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, father, Give me the portion of goods that follow to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many... So like you. It says, And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with riotous living. All right, I want to go into that word riotous real quick, man. Okay? Because that's the, that's the, uh, the spirit of Jake, man. You know, Jake liked to uh, spend his money on bullshit. He liked to waste his substance on partying and, and bullshitting, man. You know? Riotous. So this is riotous in the Google definition. I don't know if brothers can see that. I'm trying my best out here. <laughs> But it says, marked by or involving public disorder. It says, characterized by wild and uncontrolled behavior, having a vivid, varied appearance. Okay, so basically, you're spending your money uncontrollably, man. All right, reckless. Okay, you're spending your money ca uh, carelessly. You know, so the, and that's what the son did. You know, he asked his father for, for his, his portion okay of his substance of his goods and things of that nature and he spent it all on on riotous living man he spent his money uncontrollably unwisely luke 15 and 13 it says and not many days after 
the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land and he began to be in want. Yeah, he done spent all his money in a place that he went to into that far country and then boom, a famine happened, man. Okay? The land started becoming barren. You know, un unfruitful. It was hard for him to eat. You know? And then he couldn't do anything about it because what he, he spent all his substance, man. All right? Luke 15 and 15. It says, And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would fain and he would fain have filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. Yeah, man, so, he, so here it is. He went to go work with somebody else, and he was eating what the fucking swine was eating, man. Okay? He was low down and dirty, man. He, he was out there He was out there in the mud. Don't Jake like to say that shit all the time? I got it out the mud. I got it out the mud. It, you know, Jake was in, in, in the mud eating with swine, man. Eating with, with the fucking animals. Okay? Luke 15 and 17, it says, And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? So, okay, I'm going to read it again. Luke 15, Luke 15 and 17, it says, And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? Yeah, man, talking about the servants in his father's household, uh, household that he departed away from. Okay? Verse 18, it says, I will arise and go to my father, and I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy highest servants. Yeah, yeah he, he said, I'm going to go back to my father, and I'm going to apologize, man. Right? I'm gonna go back to my father, and, I, and I'm gonna I'm gonna seek I'm gonna seek I'm, I'm gonna repent, man. I'm gonna seek forgiveness. All right. Because what? And, and that's and that's the spirit that that we should be in in our, uh, uh, all the time, man. The spirit of repenting, man. Coming back to the heavenly father, like when, when you sin against the Most High. All right. You got you got to beg for forgiveness, man. All right, because the, the, the scriptures talk about how the Lord is, 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 is pitiful, all right, and very long-suffering towards us, to us word, all right? Luke 15 and 19, it says, And am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. Yeah, just treat me like a regular servant, man, you know? And he arose and came to his father, but when he was yet... A great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Yeah, he, he said, come here, man. Come, come give daddy a hug, man. All right? I'm glad you came back, man. You know? I'm so happy that you came back. I'm so, I'm so happy that, that, that you put your, 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 your own lust and things like that to the side and you came back. I saw you were far off. I, I I see I see you you are uh you you was coming back to me anyway, man. All right, and that's how we are toward uh that's how the heavenly Father is towards us. The Lord is is opening up His arms, man, to give us a, a big old hug, man. He's saying, "Welcome back, son." All right, I'm gonna um, read the rest of the scripture and then I'm gonna close out through the Spirit, man. This rain is is. It's starting to come down a little bit. Verse 21, Luke 15 and 21, it says, And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned. Oh, Salakia. So like um, yeah, Salakia. So like Verse 21, Luke 15 and 21, it says, And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet, 
and bring hither the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found and they began to be merry. Okay? And that's what happened, man, because what? The, the son repented, he came back. Okay? And that's what we're doing through the Heavenly Father. And we have the ability to do that through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, through the world called Jesus Christ. Salakia, man. I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to wrap it up through the Spirit. I'm going to say, Call Allah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakhakudash, Shalom.